The reason people don't want to talk about Cuba right now and they don't want to use their social media platform to just share videos about Cuba, which is what the Cuban people are asking for at this time, is because of a number of things. But let's just start with the fact that people are waiting for permission. People are waiting for permission and a critical mass of other people to look like something's happening in order to begin to care about Cuba. As millennials or as Gen Z, we talk about Black Lives Matter. We talk about listening to Black voices, amplifying Black voices. But when Black voices are asking for their freedom, we have one barrier in there, which is, is this a socially acceptable thing to share and talk about? Because I don't see celebrities in Hollywood doing this. I don't see my favorite leaders doing this. I don't see Kerry Washington lying in a pool with a shirt saying I love Cuba in order for me to have permission to talk about Cuba on my social media platforms. You wait for millionaire celebrities to tell you what to care about. Do you realize the insanity of that? We wait for companies, organizations, literally people with the most money, people with the most control and power to tell us what to think, to tell us if it's okay to share something, to tell us if it's okay to have a conscious and a particular burden for a particular issue at a specific time. That is not activism. Your activism only serves your social status if that's what you wait for. I don't understand how hard it is to listen to the Cuban people, but then I remember there are certain factors that come into play. So the next one is, you don't want to look like a right winger for sharing the Cuban uprising that's happening right now. You care more about your own appearance. This never really was about you caring about black lives or that you love CRT because it talks about all these issues that African Americans face, that you went out to protest because you really cared. No, a lot of y'all last summer only cared about protesting because it got you out of the house at a time where everyone had to isolate. But now that everything's open and you have something to do, you don't care. You're not going to really bother about it. Black Lives Matter isn't going to push as hard on this one. So you're not, you're waiting for them to tell you how to feel about it, what to do. But also we're already out and having drinks and eating at restaurants. So man, it's so sad. It's so sad. And then you just don't want to look like a right winger because it's somehow admitting that America is good. I swear y'all, like if this was back in the day and Americans were sent to fight the Nazis, you would sympathize with the Nazis because you wouldn't want your friends to think that you're pro-America. Like we only do these things. We share these things in order to be socially acceptable. And in order to be socially acceptable, we step in line with the oligarchy, with the technocrats, with the millionaires. We have to follow their lead while talking about telling truth to power or whatever that is. And a lot of you, you don't want to get your communist friends upset. You have so many people who, whose end line at the end of every phrase is, ah, oh, capitalism. All black lives are suffering. Capitalism. You don't want to get them upset because people, black and brown lives, are speaking out against the dictatorship. Um, and you just don't want to get your friends upset. Honestly, coming back to the whole thing about your activism is only about you. What would happen if you just shared one video? I encourage you to take a leap of faith and say, look, this isn't right. It goes against everything. I was complaining to my uncle and my sister and my brother and saying, you don't care about black lives. You don't listen to black voices. It goes against all of that when you stay silent. So why are you staying silent now? Why don't you stay consistent? Stay consistent with the thing. Like keep it going. Keep the same energy. When you share about one life being brutalized and suffering at the hands of the police, why not share about the thousands who are being brutalized and attacked by the police and their government? What's the deal with that? But you know your conscience is telling you to do the right thing. But you are too afraid of your own image, your own reputation. You don't want to be corrected. You don't want to take back the words that you were saying about everything. You don't want to look like you were in the wrong to your uncle who was a right wing conservative, whatever. That's all you care about. It's you, 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 me, 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 I, 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 I beg you be consistent this time. Care about the black and brown voices who are only 19 miles away from the U.S. shore who are asking you
to please share what's happening. I ask you, stop waiting for celebrities to tell you what to think, how to think. Stop waiting for a social critical mess. Stop waiting for the president or the people in Congress to tell you what's happening, what's right and what's wrong. Listen to the Cuban people, be consistent. Be consistent in your ideology. A lot of you who are like pro CRT are all about lived experience. Listen now, do practice what you preach. How hard is that? But uh, I wasn't ever about that, right? You, Universal Music Group, Sony Music, Republic Records, they're not telling you to post a black square for Blackout Tuesday this time for Cuba. Because this time it doesn't really serve their interests in a way that we could talk about in another video. But you're waiting for them to tell you what to think. You're waiting for your friends to also be brave. You don't want to show people that you might actually care about America. Be brave, be brave. Help people that are dying. Help people that are suffering, bruh. Like, I know you care. And stop thinking about yourself all the time. Actually, be brave for once. Like, for, for, for the first time, be brave. I encourage you to do it. You won't die. I promise you, you won't die. Sure, upset your communist friends for a little bit. Hopefully, everyone can start to think a bit more nuanced. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. I am tired of this.